Hey, this is Chaos Theory, and I'm here right now to answer some questions that you may have about the uh, rapper that I made. Uh, it's on Guild Wars Guru if you want to download it. Um, so, yeah, let's start. So, first of all, it's in Applications. Uh, here it is, Guild Wars. Um, I'm using this one because this one's fully imaged, and I don't want to waste your time like having you looked at a lo loading screen, so... Here it is. Um, so, what this is, it's um, a wine wrapper. You can look up wine, you can figure out whatever it is. Most of you already know it's a wine wrapper. Um, uh, to open up the wine wrapper, you right click it and you go to show package contents. This is everything that you need in this um, the app. Wherever this app goes, this comes with it so just keep that in mind when you click on drive C program files it's the same exact file system as you would see in like a uh, normal Windows operating system uh, users crossover that's the user you are so here's everything um, this isn't a Vista so your screens and templates are going to be saved in the Guild Wars folder in program files, not in your uh, My Documents folder. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when you do your stuff. So when you want to um, change the wrapper itself, this is where you want to do it. This is kind of like the control center of the uh, hat, uh, wrapper. Uh, this is how you install some Windows software, like installer. This is how you... Um, I got um, the Guild Wars setup dot executable to load, so that's very helpful. Screen options, you don't really need to mess with this. The big one is advanced, so this is where everything is set up. So this Windows EXE is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is the executable that runs when you click on the app, so you can set that to the Guild Wars executable. It's I set that to that by default, um, of course. Um, but if you want to change something, like I know KS Mod uses a mod loader, uh, you can change that here. Or if you want to use Text Mod, you can change that here. Uh, so that's very crucial. Uh, EXE flags. This is also a big one. So I know a lot of people know about switches that you can use in Guild Wars like dot or dash image or um, dash password to auto log you in and everything. This is where you put those. So that's also very helpful. Um, so that's good to know. Another thing, uh, the engine is uh, w it's called this. Basically what that is it's the crossover games engine it's the same exact one that crossover games use uses except that I also installed um, a direct 3d9 fix which makes it run better but, um, through my testing it's worked just as good as a native PC but there are some bugs which I'll get into later so that's everything that you really need to know tools there's not much you need to do in here but if you want to get into um, the registry editor, the task manager, or anything, this is where you do it. Wine tricks, this is where I installed the direct 3D9 uh, fix. But I wouldn't get into that, it gets kind of complicated. Uh, so, yeah. Um, wrapper tools, refresh wrapper. This one's like rebooting the operating system. So, if you're having trouble, just refresh it and see if that fixes your problems. Rebuild wrapper. You do not want to touch this one. This will pretty much format the wrapper in a way. So everything that's in there, it's going to be wiped. Don't really want to use that. Update wrapper. Um, I don't think you really need to use that either. So I wouldn't bother with most of this. Uh, options. There's not much there. So uh, anyways, that's advanced and that's everything you need to know about that so let's start the app so got a nice new launch pad going to go oh by the way um, wineskins 
as you probably know, isn't only limited to Guild Wars. You can run a lot of Windows applications. Um, Guild Wars has been found to run the best, but these also work. They're a little bit sketchy. Like Red Alert 2 and Tiberian Sun, it has some like really weird lag issues, but it's playable. So, so far, this is what I've been able to get to run. Uh, you might ask, like, why you have Diablo 2? It's for Mac, but um, it, does, it no longer works on Mac. It's uh, when the you install Lion, it um, drops PowerPC support, so you can't play Diablo 2 normally anymore. So uh, I made that wrapper so I could still play it. Um, so yeah, let's get into Guild Wars. Turn it down. People are sleeping. Anyway, so let it load up. So uh, here you are. This is exactly like a normal thing. It looks a little raggy. It usually isn't, but anyways. Um, yeah, please don't steal my account. Anyways, so this is a normal application. So type in my password so you can get into it. Oh, by the way, if you want to talk to me in game, Chaos Series, same as my Guild Wars Ghoul uh, name, Soldier of Chaos. These are usually the only characters I play, so you can talk to me in my ears if you need help. Anyways, so we load up, and it looks pretty much just like a Windows PC game. Um, okay, load up, and... Okay, so as you can see, it does look a little bit laggy, but you have to keep in mind that I'm recording right now, which severely lowers the gameplay. Normally, I swear to you, it feels like a native PC performance. Um, so yeah. So yeah, everything works in the game. Um, the one thing is that I would recommend getting a mouse because using the mass mouse pad like I am trying to right now and playing the game is pretty uh, hard. Not gonna lie. But um, otherwise, it's pretty good. Um, there are some minor graphical issues like I was seeing before. Um, the shadow that your player casts, it looks really weird. It looks pretty much like your uh, character. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. You see like the cape's like completely um, plotted out. It doesn't look like a normal shadow. So that's the only graphical issue I was able to find. Another thing is that, go to graphics, uh, refresh rate, um, it's there for 60 hertz, but anti-aliasing, there is no anti-aliasing, you can't use it, which I guess if you really want your edges to look sharp, it can kind of be a bummer, but it doesn't really hamper gameplay. Um, I usually like my uh, interface size. Um, so, yeah. Another thing I want to teach you guys, um, there is a way to play the game so that you can multitask through it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're going like dungeon hunting or like you're going to actually play the game. But if you're just like looking at Kamadan or something like that, uh, it's very helpful. Uh, so what you want to do is to hold down Command Option A. It'll shrink it. It'll make it go down. You can multitask, but then your bottom bar is uh, cut off. But luckily, Guild Wars is smart enough, so you can just go down here, click the one that's the second most, it's usually the right one. And boom. Now you can play it and you can multitask, you can go through, use your mission control, you can go through all the uh, uh, files, or uh, what do they call them? The, uh, the spaces um, so yeah that's pretty helpful so 
other than that, I think that's all you really need to know about it. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. Um, I know a lot of you people are being suspicious about the file, and if that's really a problem, I'll just teach you how to make your own, because it's not really that hard. Um, so I might make another video on that, if you, really got, you guys really want it. But anyways, I want to also thank you uh, for uh, giving me the feedback. If you guys didn't give me that feedback, I probably would have never thought of using the Direct 3D9 fix, which helped the game so much. So thank you for that. Um, so other than that, I think we're done. So uh, Chaos Theory, uh, have a nice day.